Such an interesting piece, that. Now, dementia is a disease that is starting to affect more and more people. By 2025, over a million will be living with dementia. For our two-part mini-documentary on living with dementia, we followed the stories of two incredible people as they care for their mothers who are suffering from the illness. 850,000 people are living in the UK and suffering from dementia. That's roughly a ratio of around one in seven people. And this figure is only set to rise to over a million by 2025. With these figures soaring, only more and more people are going to be affected by this disease. In this series of films, I speak to those who are affected by dementia. Not only the patients themselves, but their families as well, who have to care for them and watch them deteriorate day by day in front of their eyes. I see what it is like to live with dementia. Today I'm in Stockport to speak to Les Patterson. Les cared for his mother for a total of 12 years, the last four of which she was living with dementia. His mother sadly lost her battle in 2012. I was her carer. I used to go around every single day and I noticed one day that you tell her to do something and she didn't do it. Or I'd tell her to do something like Go make a brew, Mum. So she'd shoot into the kitchen put the, to put the kettle on. She said, why have I come in here? Put the kettle on. Oh, ah. So she put the kettle on, that was it. Les's concerns about his mother's memory continue for the next few months, leading him to consult a doctor. And there's one particular co question I can remember. And she says, I'm going to tell you three, three things and I'll ask you in a while about them three again. And the three were apple, orange, table. And after she's asked my mum four or five questions, she said, what were those three things? I said, banana, pineapple, table, I think. His mother was diagnosed in March 2008 with vascular dementia, a form of the illness which affects a person's short-term memory and then their long-term. She used to love to read. She absolutely adored her soaps, Cornet, Coronation Street, EastEnders, the whole lot. And she knew the plot in every single one. And she knew all the faces and she knew all the names. She hadn't a clue what the name of the actor was, or actress. She wasn't bothered about that, but she was in that. But as time went on, she never read. Everything that she really liked before, she didn't do. To help prepare for his mother's illness, Les went to a training course. This taught him everything he needed to know about dementia and what to expect when his mother declined. One of the things I was told about when we went on to this course was they gave us a book. And in this book, it's here, on the front, you write who the person is and, and whatever, and date of birth. And then you go through and ask you about who are you and she answers. Where, did, where do you live? Were you married? What was your husband's name? How many children have you got? What were their names? And, and what have you. And then the next page would be blank, where you could put photographs in. And the only piece that people you could remember was me, my sister, and my dad. Nobody else. She couldn't remember anything about school or all that. And when you showed her a picture, she'd say, oh, that was the school I went to. I said, well, I said who was your friends? I don't know, I can't remember. It's escaped me for the moment. No, it's all right. For his period of time as a carer, Les has been with Stockport organisation Signpost for Carers, where he has recently become chairman. Signpost for Carers is an organisation that offers help for all types of carers of all ages. They want to highlight and raise awareness about the work that is put in to helping their loved ones. There's a million and one reasons why people are carers. You know, drugs, alcohol, uh, uh, dementia. If the government uh, didn't have the likes of carers like myself, uh, at the last count it was worth something in the order of over £80 billion a year doing it for free. Because that's what we do, we do it for free, there's no money. He did not let this stop him caring for his mother in her time of need. He wants to ensure that everyone receives the love and care he was able to give his mother for the last years of her life. It's saddening to see your mum drifting away, hasn't a clue who anybody is who 
all her loved ones, her friends and everything. And it's all just a blur because the short term memory goes first, medium term memory, and then the long term memory. And like I say, it's, it's shocking. She just slowly withered away. It wasn't nice, no. Mm. Uh. What would you say was kind of the hardest part of it all for you? I'd say that. Yeah, seeing... I knew where she'd been all her life. My dad and my mum went round the world twice. They'd been flying 100 feet above the raging Colorado at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. They've been everywhere and they did everything. She couldn't remember anything. So wherever she went and all the things she saw, it had all gone. It all drifted into the past and gone. That's one of the things, but I would, I would definitely say uh, that my mum, uh, just withering away and expiring in front of my eyes. Yeah, I can remember. Yeah. Well, joining us now is Les Patterson, who supports someone with dementia. Les, uh, thank you for coming in this morning. What did you make no of problem. that piece there? I, I thought it was very good. You encapsulated quite a few bits and pieces there. Yeah, very nice. Um, so you help somebody with dementia. Who is that and what's that been like for you? Well, as far as I was concerned with my mum, the, the thing that really caused the big problem was that uh, you never knew what each day was going to bring. Uh, every time uh, something happened, I could see something different. And because I went round and saw my mum all the time, I knew when things were changing. That's when I started to take her to the doctors. And when we went to the doctors, they then, uh, or he should say, he then sent us uh, to the medals in Stockport, and we eventually ended up having a review and the lady doctor came out and she assessed my mum and said she got vascular dementia. And, you know, is it treatable dementia? Because you were telling me before we went into that piece that um, there's over, was it 100? 200. 200 times. I believe of dementia. so, yeah. That's yeah. absolutely mad. Yeah. That is absolutely mad. No, there's no, uh, I don't believe there's any. Uh, proper cure uh, because I mean the government have said they're going to put a loan of money into research to try and find out a better way forward for dementia but from um, what I know the only one you've got a chance with at the moment is Alzheimer's mm. uh, apart from that I don't think there's anything no. well that's uh, we have to leave it there but thank you very oh. much for coming in to right. show you story with okay. us today thank you.